Hello. So I just wanted to make a very quick tutorial on how to transfer weights from one or more bones to one single bone. So it's really an N to one operation. Um, so yeah, this operation re heavily relies on the fact that uh, you can one lock weights in your application and two have auto normalization, which is probably the two most basic uh, skin weights feature that exists out there. So I would assume that every single 3D application have that. Um, but I'm just going to show the way to do it in Blender. And if you use another application, you probably know how to do that in, in your application. So let's just uh, show the problem that I have first. Um, I want to select my material, going my bone layers. If I show the tweaks, uh, go in pose mode, show the bones. Um, if I lower these, like so, and move like these up. As you can see, the upper lip has some influence over these vertices and that doesn't look good at all. So I'm just going to move those a bit and basically go back to object mode, select my armature, then the mesh, go into weight paint mode. Actually, I'll just hide the teeth and the tongue just to see better, go back to weight paint mode. Uh, show my deform bones and not my controllers. And so uh, just to see better, I am going to go into flat mode and into single uh, single color yeah, and make sure this is white. By the way, I don't have like any biased colors. I just truly see my weights because uh, before I was showing the, the texture of the character, and showing the weights on top of that, which just forces everything. So single weights, color to one and flat is what you are going to want to use to see your weights properly. So um, what's the issue here? Uh, these bones, so this one and this one, both have some influence over the lower lip. Um, and I just basically want to transfer the weights from these ones on the lower lip to this bone. So the way to do it is first, I want to make sure that every single bone uh, has locked influences. So I'm going to click on this arrow here and lock all. And the way you see that a bone is locked in Blender is that its color is red. That's pretty much it. Um, and now I'm going to want to unlock the the bones I want to take the influence from. So that's again these two bones. Uh, you can do that uh, in two ways as far as I know. Um, just check this locked sign here or go into weights, locks and unlock selected. And I have that added to my quick fav favorites because I do it a lot. So you're going to see me going to my quick favorites menu. Um, I just want to make sure first that I don't have X mirror uh, checked because if I do, then Blender is going to unlock the weights from this one and I don't really want that. So unlock selected, unlock selected on this one as well. And then unlock the weights of the bone you want to transfer the weights to. Um, then two things, you want to have your blend mode to add right here. Blender has a ton of blend modes. In 99.99% .99 of the cases, you want to just use add. So I'll set that to add. Um, and in my case, I want to set the strength to one because I basically want to Tell Blender, all right, for that vertex right here, try to set its influence from that bone to one. But 
in the current state of things, it's not really possible because this spoon has influence over that vertex, but this spoon is locked, so Blender can't take influence from it. So it's going to try to set that to one and take away every weight from every unlocked bones uh, because of the auto normalization. Auto normalization. So yep, that's basically the the idea. If I just carelessly paint the weights here. Um, I'm just going to take the influence away from, from the bone, from the upper lip bones. Uh, one thing you can do to be even more safe is just select um, the lower lip vertices, go back to weight paint mode and check this one or this one if you prefer. Uh, I don't really know the difference except that this one is more readable because yeah my weights the the faces i can paint on aren't grayed out uh, right so yeah the the good thing about locking weights is that you can really 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 be careless about how you paint your weights and i can just like paint weights i could even paint weights over here um and it really wouldn't do much Apparently it still kind of does. I'm not sure why exactly, but like blue like this it doesn't pretty much means no influence. So that's probably fine. Um, yep. Uh, one annoying, annoying thing with this is that it shares the same hotkey. So control click to select a bone like this. Uh, when you're in that mode, it's also control click to select the face. So if you have a bone that's in front of a face, you can't really select it. You have to either have the bone be in front of nothing or go out of this mode. Which is undo to go back to my mask. Make sure I have my weights painted as I want. Okay, I'm going to lock all again and then do the same operation for the rest of the lip. So again, unlock the two bones here. Nope, oh, sorry. And unlock this one. And then carelessly paint the weight. I could go back to this just to be safe. Okay, lock all, go out of this, unlock selected, unlock selected, unlock selected. This right here is going to be very important, important that I have this uh, paint mask tool because I really don't want to mess up the, the upper lip weights. I am going to uh, lower the influence drastically here uh, because I still want the corner lips to be influenced a bit by the upper and the lower lid lip so I'm just going to yeah make sure the the curve here is nice I might want to add a bit of weight here Okay, I want this to be transferred over to these ones. Just basically making sure that the, the curve here doesn't have any jagged edges. And I probably... Yeah. I won't go too much in depth with that. I'm just going to, no. All right, go back to one here, making sure I have my whites painted properly here. And as you can see, you might not see it properly. Uh, I do have a lot of jagged edges here. And again, that's because uh, these two bones 
have influence over this part of the apocalypse, so I don't want that. I am just going to lock the weights of that one because I want to transfer to that one and unlock this one. So now I can again carelessly paint my weight over here. Um, Yeah, I have a bit of issue. I think my weights aren't properly normalized. So like, if I paint on this, it's going to go down, even though I'm uh, adding weights on the bone that goes upwards. So it's going to go down first, because I think Blender right now is trying to normalize the weights. And then if I paint again, it's going to go up. So I'm just go not going to touch this. This is not a problem you're going to encounter if you have proper weights. I have just have uh, messed things up a bit before. So um, I probably want this one to go back down a bit. And that looks pretty good. It's not perfect. I'm not going to care about the corner too much because the corner should really, uh, well, actually, I could no. Um, I basically just want a nice curve here, so really have like a, some some kind of corner like this. Um, so just painting a tiny bit of influence back. Yeah, is all right. I'm going to count too much. This isn't perfect right here. Maybe these ones could benefit from going up a tiny bit, not that much. So I basically, when I paint weights, have things either all the way up to one or very low, like 0 0.01, because that way when things are very low, Again, this vertex got messed up. But when the, the, the strength is very low, you just you have very precise control over things. So you end up clicking a lot. But you do move your weights precisely where you want them to go. This one is going to be messed up. I'm not going to touch it. Um, might want this to go up a tiny smidge more. right now like even 0 0.01 is a bit too much because like it makes this vertex move a lot uh, it's not too bad and yeah I don't want to move this one right that looks pretty much how I want it to look um, because right now oops that's very bright uh, if I go to my bone layer and show the tweaks, I'm just going to go back into random mode. And okay, in object mode, random mode, and weight paint mode don't play well together, apparently. Show the teeth again because that was creepy. Um, go in pose mode, hide the different bones, and now. Uh, Okay, so I did add two, yeah. Um, I have too much influence on the inner part of the lips, which makes things weird. But overall, I do have the behavior I want. I can make a tight seal right here. Uh, I can do the same for this. Yep, that is looking pretty good and pretty smooth over here. Pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you want to do that. And again, uh, that is something you can very much do in any 3D application. Um, and it's probably something most of, uh, of you would know, but I haven't seen a lot of information on 
this specifically, so I figured I'd share that anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.